my business is completely new so I've never done bookkeeping before this the type of clients I look after are in the building industry and they're eco-conscious like sustainable buildings that's my ideal client so it could be architects or consultants or builders themselves you've always been really clear on having this eco-conscious business and a sort of sustainability focus did you always plan to niche No, I didn't even plan to have a business actually to start with. I was studying. I just thought bookkeeping is a nice little job that I can have that fits in around family. As long as I get it done, it can be done whenever fits in around school runs and things like that. And I just thought that I'd get a job working for someone. And then while I was studying, somebody talked about helpful Facebook groups about bookkeeping. And so I started looking for them, found the Six Figure Bookkeepers Club and that's when the little seeds started to get planted about having a business. And then by the time I'd finished my level three in bookkeeping, I knew that I wanted to niche because I had heard about how important niching is and it all just made perfect sense. So I thought, I know that I am an eco-conscious person. I'd love to be able to have an impact in that way. So if I can help businesses that also want to have an impact, then, uh, then that would be ideal. And that chat that we had about my business, that you helped me change who my ideal client was. So it was always going to be eco-conscious businesses, but I was looking at a lot of the businesses on Instagram and they were a lot smaller and it was normally a, a, a side hustle. So what they could afford on a bookkeeper was probably not that much. And, and so you helped me to see that and then actually realise that it, the building industry is where the biggest impact can be made as well for what happened for you that made you think actually I need to join the success program and I'm going to start my own business bookkeepers boot camp I think I just was like I can't not join this group (laughs) by the time I was uh, part of boot camp I was like yes I will build a business one day it's I need to do this first do this that and thinking I'll get a job first to get some experience and just the energy in the boot camp the inspiration the the, hearing everyone else's stories and how possible it is I just was thinking if I'm going to build a business then I I couldn't think of any better way than to be part of a group of bookkeepers who are doing the same thing or have been there done that um yeah it was yeah I couldn't not join I had to (laughs) I know you've gone from having no business at all no plan to even have a business to having a business what does your business look like now So now it's a a healthy business. It's started. It feels uh, like a proper business now, whereas the first couple of years, obviously, I I was just building it up. But I looked at my turnovers and the 22 turnover year was 5,000. That was mainly just doing a few bits for the accountant. And then last year was 25,000. And at the moment, if nothing changes, it's 35,000. But now that I feel like I found my fee, I'm now in a position to grow, hopefully having staff come in and being able to take on more clients and grow that income more again. When we started this conversation, you said to me that you were thinking that you would just do some bookkeeping because it would work around the kids. What's changed in terms of your mindset since you've been part of our community and part of the success program? Probably the biggest mindset change was that initial one where I really didn't know. I I wasn't looking for anything. I just wanted to bring in a little bit of income. That was it. And and then, like I said, very early on thinking, not only could I have a business, but I could have a brilliant business. And I started to dream big. So that initial mindset change was the biggest one. But it's constant the the little mindset changes all along there's definitely stages where you get to and you think oh this is okay I'll just stick with it just like this it's working and then I listen to another podcast or I just start to get more involved in the success lounge again and it starts firing up again the actual course itself is very powerful it covers everything you need to know no matter what stage you're at but I think probably the most powerful is the community there's the wealth of knowledge and help from such a variety of people, all of them really nice and helpful, friendly people as well. Yourself and 
Joe, obviously, always there if anybody needs anything. And and the other information that's offered up by the community that you don't even realise that you were looking for. And it's there. And I keep finding new things like the documents in the Success Sound Facebook group. I didn't know they were there. And I'm just constantly... This, gives so much this group it's it's just everything you think oh it's it's full they couldn't possibly do any more and then it just always is more and then if you're struggling you can ask and someone will help what's next for you what does the future hold systems <laughs> definitely that is a big focus at the moment is systems and processes I really want to do everything properly and while I still can at this smaller current size that I'm at the moment because I know if I get all the systems in place then it, it's going to be su uh, such an easier task to grow but I feel like now I am just ready to get visible I have spoken to a uh, website designer so that happened yesterday actually so that got the ball rolling there going to get a website up and running going to start being more present on social media definitely going to join your content subscription for that and uh, have the VA help me keep on top of that as well. Thank you so much for chatting. Tell me, Nikki, how can people connect with you and find out more about your business? I do have an Instagram page, Eco Accounts Limited. I will soon have a website. And that's amazing, Nikki. 